Welcome to CAD X Design and Animation. Today we are going to learn, complete hydraulic power pack system design, and its calculations. After watching this tutorial you will able to design hydraulic power pack standalone. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe our channel by clicking subscribe button below. And hit notification bell so that you will receive notifications whenever new video is upload. And please help us by commenting and sharing videos. This circuit, like most hydraulic circuits, is all about transmitting power. In particular, we want to transmit power from here at the electric motor up to the conveyor's drive gear, which will turn the conveyor and move the load. To get things started, we'll turn on the electric motor. As the shaft of the electric motor turns, it drives the hydraulic pump. And as the pump operates, hydraulic fluid, typically some kind of oil, is pushed from the reservoir into the pump. Now exactly how that happens is, well, it's one of those things we cover in the basic hydraulics course. The hydraulic pump pushes the hydraulic fluid into the piping. In this circuit, fluid goes to three places just about simultaneously. The fluid goes to the pressure relief valve, the pressure gauge, and the hydraulic manifold. The pressure gauge shows us the hydraulic system's pressure. The pressure gauge has a needle that moves up and down as the hydraulic pressure goes up and down. The relief valve is a safety device. If the system pressure gets too high, instead of having a line break or a fitting split, hydraulic fluid spills over the relief valve and back to the tank. The manifold is a block of metal with internal passageways drilled through it. Those passageways simplify the plumbing of the return line and the pressure line. 